Hello and welcome to Terry and Al Spirits Talking. I'm doing card readings tonight by request. And uh, before I go any further, I'm going to do the drawing and find out who tonight gets the special full reading. And I have everyone's names already posted up here. Hold on just a sec. And it's Kim Fitzgerald. Congratulations, Kim Fitz Fitzgerald gets the full reading tonight. Now back to our readings. I'm back. Sorry if these are running late. I had an ear infection and it's gotten better, so... I'm back uh, doing some cards. And other such fun stuff. There's my tarot. I'm putting out my crystals I have my crystals set up in this little sleigh for, for Christmas let me make sure I okay cool Sense to burning if we can. Okay, bring out the singing bowl. Candles. blowing nicely or burning nicely all right let's see who else is on the list Julie let me shuffle the cards up for you Julie Julie, for you.
Okay. Now in this reading so far from just looking at it, I'm gathering, I, I see one big theme in general that's kind of an issue here. And it looks like fighting and things about the domestic life, family, household, the fighting of some sort. Not, I don't know who with or about or some issue there. Now, there's uh, news of a loss here. Um, could be a loss of somebody, or I, I kind of see it more like as a, a losing something, um, an argument, um, an actual loss of money or items. Um, maybe a person, I, I, I don't know. I'm not really sure, but uh, I think it's more a little bit more materialistic, tangible thing and not a person. But a good time for a partnership with you and someone else. A love partnership, a family, friend, um... There's many type of partnerships we have in our lives, uh, from business to family to friends to whatever. And it, something is a very good time for them in general, or something very specifically someone in particular you're you're getting along with very well. Um, uh, it looks like things in the past you've been able to live well enough that, that you've been able to give something away, money or something of value here in the past. Um, then a loss comes along of some sort. And I'm, I'm guessing this might be money. Although it could be a losing a fight, an argument, um, losing more in that sense. But uh, because this all ends up with money again, it kind of comes around. And I'm, I'm wondering, this talks here about um, an outlook on life kind of uh, around the present time right now you're looking less at monetary things and more at, at uh, the spiritual side of things um, money might just be an issue that's unattainable at the moment or out of the question and so you've kind of come to realize that the most valuable things in life are the people in your life. And you seem to be in complete control over that situation, whatever is going on in regards to that. Now coming up here, you're going to be uh, possibly getting some advice about money, some good news, someone's going to offer you some money, maybe, possibly a woman, um, and if I had to go into detail further, I'd say uh, maybe a, possibly a woman with black hair, but that's just uh, kind of spe speculation there. Um, She's going to advise you on money, possibly give you money, and, uh, or this could be referring to you, yourself, Julie, and your whole new relationship with money. You're going to take on a new understanding and appreciation for it, um, maybe. Now, in the future... There's news. This is where it really gets to the family side of the issue. 
bad news about uh, the house, the family, something involving the home life. Bad news is coming your way, or has recently come your way. And at first the news made you really um, up at arms, very uh, riled up about it, but you're kind of... Uh, absorbing it now and getting used to the idea and it's not bothering you quite so much as it first did when you heard it and you know being able to do that you're able to control the situation and what's going on now you're still bickering over it though or you will st still be bickering in the near future there will be some little squabbles little uh things um and it too and probably should involve the family or that the household or something about that um but it's nothing major no out major fights or anything it's just bickering little you know silly stuff nothing real serious it's all right yeah, the money and the family issue. Very, very, uh, outstanding in those, in that reading. Prominent. That's the word I want to use, prominent. Very prominent in that reading. Okay. Now we have Texas. And I'm shuffling them up good. Hey, Texas, right now I can tell you things are moving in your direction. Luck's on your side right now. Okay, right now. So if you want to make a move, do something, right now is the time to do it. Everything's in your favor. You've been kind of daydreaming about something, and it looks like something bad did hit in the past. Um, I'm not sure what. Um, and there's really not much in here to say on any certain subject. Um, there are a few money cards. Um, a few cups. Nothing in particular that I could really pinpoint and say that's what this is all about. So it's just in general. Luck's on your side right now. It hadn't been in the past. And whatever happened in the past, it looked like it uh, hit you pretty hard. It bothered you. It uh, it was a reason to, to stay up at night. You know, it kept you up at night. Maybe bad dreams. Probably not so much as an actual dream as just maybe a bit of a a nightmare <laughs> a, a, a walking living nightmare type thing 
and it uh, it looks like uh, news is coming too, and I don't know what that's all about. It's just nothing that's really going to make you happy. I, I don't know. I don't think it's so much bad news, but it's just not going to really affect you the way um, you'd like it to. It's not, it's just not bad news. It's not good news. Yeah, I don't know if that makes any sense, but uh, I guess you could say it is bad news, but it just doesn't, you know, you can just brush it off, brush it aside. It's just not that big of a deal of bad news. Something you've been working on, coming up, it's going to pay off. Something you've been working hard, dreaming about, you know, and I think it has to do with this. I'm not saying anything, but I think we both know what, <laughs> what you're talking about, what you're wanting to happen. Not a great time for, for as far as uh, fertility is, though, after that. Things aren't going to be as favorable if you wait. So, it's kind of like one, one of those times where if you don't do it now, your shot's not going to be around for a while. I see you... Uh, juggling an issue, something you've been trying to decide on, you're going to get over that. You're going to make your decision and get over that. And the big thing is strength. You're going to have strength. I don't know if something's coming up to test you, but uh, you're going to have a lot of strength, and not just in the physical sense. Um, willpower strength. Um, emotional strength. You're going to have a very good time, very strong time for you coming up. All right, Texas. So you enjoy that moment while it's here. Now, next on the list is Lisa Gregg. Shuffle these good for Lisa. Wow, Lisa. This looks like it's very powerful, very soul-searching. Uh, kind of maybe an emotional time, possibly. I'll get into that here. Um, good news on the domestic front. Something about family, household, good news coming there, but I don't think it's about money because I see uh, poor money-making decisions right now. Avoid making any decisions involving money. Not a good time. Your guard will be down, but it'll be good as far as family and the household goes. 
It's been an odd time here in the past. Um, things have been going on that you quite haven't understood. Not necessarily going against you. Just uh, you're not quite sure why things are happening the way they are. You're not quite sure what is quite up. Kind of a, a just a bizarre year, I guess, like we've all been having. But it's kind of like one of those bizarre times when it's like, this just can't be happening. But it is. Okay. Now, it looked like you've been regretting something from your past. You're going to be able to put that behind you. Walk away without any regrets now. You've gotten over that. You're letting life proceed. And it's working very well for you. You're setting pretty, you know, triumphantly. You know, in, in the winner's chair. Also coming up is a good time for a premonition. Uh, listen to your dreams. Follow that gut instinct. You're going to be in control here. Right now and coming up here in the future. For the most part. I say that because... Looks like something is going to happen that's out of your control. Something kind of bad. And, um, these things happen in everyone's lives, so, you will lose some control over that. I don't know what it's about, what it involves. But it's, it's going to affect you, and you're going to sit back and kind of just think, and... You won't know what kind of action to take after it happens. You'll you'll think against doing anything at the moment. You'll just sit back and let things play out a little bit. Weigh your odds, you know. Think about your actions before you, you they go into play. And as a result, things are going to slow down a bit. They're not going to be moving along quite the way they were. Gonna have a slowdown period. But then, luck comes into your favor here in the near future. So, you have this bad moment of something happening, but then luck's coming around to you, so that's some very good news. So I'd say it looks like you'll have some good luck for the new year. All right, Lisa. Okay, now we have uh, Jessica Ritchie. And let me see. She wants to know the question... Is my relationship going to be trusting, or should I be worried? Well, Jessica, I can't always control what the cards say, or what question they will answer. I can put it forward, and hopefully, you know, it'll, ask, it'll answer that. But sometimes these cards, they tell you what you need to know. You know, and not maybe necessarily what you want to know. They'll tell you what you need to know instead. Sometimes that, that involves answering your question. And, well, sometimes it involves something completely different. But we'll see here. Because I have no clue what you're about to get.
Okay, Jessica. Hmm. There's a lot going on here for you. A lot of ups and downs. And this does seem to want to respond to your relationship question. Uh, which was, going to be trusting or should I be worried? Well, this says you're going to have a good relationship. Your sense of judgment's going to be off on this, though. So I don't know if that's saying maybe, um, maybe don't let your heart blind you to what's going on. Possibly. I'm not saying that for sure, but uh, I'm just kind of getting that impression here that maybe love's kind of blinding your sense of justice a little bit here and you might be willing to overlook some things. Okay, recently uh, some extreme joy. Somebody brought some extreme happiness into your life, a gift, a present, um, giving you something, telling you something. And it looks like you've been pretty much in control and happy with the situation. Up until recently. Now recently or possibly here in the near future, something's going to change. And you're going to walk away and leave something behind, something that made you happy at one point. And it, you're going to really regret that. It's going to, it's going to bother you. And it looks like it's going to maybe continue to bother you for a bit because, uh, You're not celebrating here, coming up. It, it's that card there, and it also extends over here to this card, where something about the household is just not happy. I see you taking on a big burden. Maybe it's a physical burden, maybe it's something you've learned. A secret, something heavy on you, weighing you down. But in spite of all that, it seems, you know, you're a strong person and you're going to make it through that. And whatever you've been working on, it's going to turn out right. It's going to work out. You're going to be happy with it. It's going to be... A success, at least in your eyes. I'm not sure what it is that you're trying to accomplish, but it will be successful and you'll be happy with it and it'll make you happy in the end. And isn't that what it's all about? Being happy in the end. There's good news coming in the end. Something, someone's going to give you something, someone's going to help provide that happiness for you. So you're getting this happiness twice. And a couple of things not to celebrate. I'm not sure what that is exactly. but uh, So yeah, it looks like uh, if, if this is talking about uh, the love interest, um, I'm not sure if, if it's answering in anything quite that extreme. It just seems to be saying um, it's going to be a roller coaster. This relationship, maybe, if that's what it's referring to, um, it's going to be a roller coaster. There's going to be good times and there's going to be bad. So if you're up for it, just hold on and go for the ride <laughs> and enjoy. All right.
right. Next see. Next one up is Raven Butcher. And I'm shuffling these up for Raven. Okay, Raven. It looks like there's a lot of confrontation and maybe fighting, but at, at the most, it's at least it's confrontation going on in here. Um, You've won something, or you've been given a news about a victory of yours, of some matter, and it uh, seems to give you some encouragement or security into feeling like you can um, maybe do an over bit of spending right now. Um, maybe celebrating and possibly, uh, spending, well, I won't say spending too much because, uh, it doesn't look like you're regretting it anywhere in the cards at least. So, um, yeah, you're going to be able to be comfortable with, uh, maybe being a little bit more generous than, than usual. Now, someone, um, someone won you something or brought you news about a victory or something in the past. And, um, for a little while there, it looks like you might have, uh, had a, a bit of a slump, um, in your, uh, spiritual, spiritual, spirituality, excuse me. I had trouble getting that one out. A spiritual slump. Um, maybe going a little bit more um, toward the uh, monetary side of life, uh, material things. But here's good news again about a victory. I mean, you're not losing. That's the thing. You're not losing. In any part of this, it doesn't really show you actually losing anything. But something is going to happen. And uh, something kind of bad is going to happen. It doesn't... Uh, doesn't say what, but it's reflected in the next cards coming up. Um, it's like the Wheel of Fortune's not on your side. It's just, it's going to hit, and it's like all aspects of your life, it looks like, are going to be down for a little while. The, like, the no festivities at home. There's not going to be any happiness. You're going to be feeling kind of alone and uh, f 
feel like you're by yourself, like no one understands you, no one can understand the situation you're in. And, um, yeah, it's going to be, uh, it, it looks like it's going to affect not only you, but maybe even some of your family members and friends. I'm not sure how far reaching this, this goes. But, here at the end, someone gives you something, and it's something of value. It could be money, but it, it looks like it has some value to it. And it might be they're giving you something. It could be a message, news, a gift, um, something that's going to lighten. It looks like it's going to lighten this event dramatically. It's going to help you to get over what happens. All right. Sorry, I, I wish I could um, tell you more. That's just not a, a happy card to get. But everyone gets them once in a while. Okay. Next we have April Love. Okay, for you, April. Hmm. Okay, April. This card, I think, has a whole lot to do with the message of this whole thing. And it's like, everything's a little off. Things are not working out. Something you've been working on just is not paying out the way you'd like it. But it doesn't seem to bother you. It doesn't seem to really affect you because you've gotten this news of some something, some sort of gift or news or event that's just made you so happy that it doesn't look like, look like anything can really shake you. <laughs> it's just made you completely giddy, it, it, I would say, from from what I'm reading here. It was a good time of fertility in the past, but uh, I see some weakness, weakness in not just in a physical strength, but emotional weakness, a vulnerable time period you went through maybe. Um, But this time period doesn't seem to have affected things. And I don't know if it's this message, news, gift, whatever this happy thing was. Because you're celebrating and the household's happy. And there's just all this happiness going on right now. It's wonderful. Okay, now coming up. Some... Some, uh, there's been a burden you've been carrying and you, you've been able now to throw that off, you know, walk away, no problems. I see uh, news of a loss of some sort, some, a loss of money, a loss of 
an item, a loss of uh, someone you know, a loss of some sort, a loss in an argument, I don't know, just some sort of loss. And there's some re res um, some regret that you can't you can't take everything with you. You've left something in the past, and you regret now not having it with you. It, it could be a person. It could be a thing. Something that's been left in the past is something now that you wish you had with you. And coming up, like this whole reading, everything in here just doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's mystical and magical and a little bit crazy and it's all going in your favor though. So, I, I say, enjoy the insanity while it lasts, you know. Just ride that wave and enjoy it as far as it'll take you. All right, April. Rain. One at the soul's journey. Oracle cards. And then pull her three to read. Rain. You have imagination. Ooh. Death and courage. Whoa. Wasn't expecting that one to come up. Let's see what they say. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Imagination. Excuse me. Death is, I am learning that endings are merely the beginnings. That's not so bad. For every ending, there's a beginning. And courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. That sounds like a very good card. So... Let's start off with imagination. Here we go. By its very nature, the physical body is limited by the three dimensions, but your mind is free to travel without boundaries and merge with the cosmic consciousness. Your mind is the great creator and your imagination is its toolbox. Everything in life begins with the energy of imagination. Thoughts are real, and they can manifest themselves into the physical world. Train your mind to only have positive thoughts, and you will attract positivity into your life. If you can see it, you can be it. Visualize the components that you want in your life, and imbue those thoughts with love, and they will become your reality. Conversely, if your mind strays to negative thoughts, you will only bring that energy to you. Be positive and loving. Imagination is creativity. Express yourself and let your imagination assist you in letting go of any creative blocks and allow your dreams to come true. Remember, you are not doing this for other people. It's for your soul opening up and singing its own unique song. Now, death. Death is an illusion. It's a fact of life that the human body we use to travel the earth must eventually stop working. It's not meant to exist forever. 
The energy and consciousness that inhabited that body is free and returns to its natural home, but never abandons us. Learn to view death as merely as change, and everything must change, because stagnancy extinguishes progress. The same is true for a relationship or a career. A soul lesson may be completed, and it is time to move beyond this point of familiarity and expand into new horizons of learning and development. This is a wonderful opportunity to thank those other souls in your life who have shaped part of your path and taught you so much. And last one is courage. You need to remind yourself that part of the challenge of being a soul is learning to honor your own power. By listening to your inner voice and following its advice, you are acknowledging the perfection of your intuition. Fear is only an illusion, and obstacles are great opportunities for you learn to, to, de to demonstrate that coming from a place of love will conquer all the feels of fear's disguises. Perhaps you are changing career paths or entering an existing or exiting a relationship. This test has been put before you because it's an opportunity to prove yourself that you and only you can make the correct decision. By not taking a step forward, you may find yourself two steps back, only to face that same obstacle again. All right, Rain. Once again, congratulations to Kim for uh, winning the complete full readings of everything I read today. Now, let me shuffle up the cards. ones for Kim. Okay, Kim, right now, it seems like everything's going pretty well in the household. Everyone's pretty content, but there is, underneath it all, there's some burden you're carrying, um, apparently from something that's happened in the past. And something pretty bad happened in the past. I'm not sure what, but uh, um, it was uh, pretty major here. Not too terribly long ago. It uh, was the stuff, type of stuff that would uh, possibly wake you up at night, giving you nightmares. And um, You've gotten to the point where you're getting over it, you're dealing, you know, you're able to sleep better again, and um, you thought long and hard about what, what happened, and you, you still do. It's still a burden, but, uh, huh. you're going to have to try to get over that and move on. Whatever this issue is, you're going to have to try to move on because it looks like until you do, things just are not going to work out right for you. In some way, this is affecting everything, and I'm, I'm not sure how, but um, it's affecting things to come yet. 
and things you're you're working on now are just not working out. And I have a feeling it has something to do with whatever happened here. Um, now you've been very uh, careful. Um, looks like money might be a bad issue right now, this time of year. You've had to really watch it. It's a bad time for finances. You've had to watch and scrape every penny. Um, or you will need to very soon, I should say. Um, now it looks like you're going to start getting your head together. I do see an improvement in things coming up. After all this time, you're going to finally stop putting, getting your head together and uh, you're not going to feel so restricted by everything. You're going to be able to walk freely and talk freely again without having to worry about the repercussions. And I see coming up, finally... It looks like you're going to be able to break free of everything that's been bothering you. And you're going to be in control. You're going to be able to control everything that's going on. To a certain degree. And life's going to be looking good here in the near future. So just try to overcome this incident. Uh, put it behind you for good. And... Uh, it looks like it'll pay off if you can do that. All right, Kim. Okay. I just can't keep get that to keep going. That's a perpetual problem of mine. Kim, we have forgiveness. Fear. And acceptance. Forgiveness says, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Fear says, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. And acceptance is, I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. Okay, I'll start with forgiveness. Here we go. You can never flow with the natural energy of love unless you release the negative energy of hate, anger, intolerance, or blame. Every soul in the path, in your path, has free will, and you have no control over that. What you do have control over is how you will react to the manifestations of others' free will. Holding on to that negative energy will strengthen, strengthen karmic cycles, and forgiveness can break that pattern. The most important person you must learn to forgive is always yourself. Blaming yourself for failures blocks the natural flow of love, which will attract all good things into your life. Now, fear. The outcome of all choices in life is determined by two emotions, fear and love. Your soul is made of the energy of love, and fear is an earthly manifestation to a challenge, of a challenge, I'm sorry. To embrace and wallow in fear is to go against your very being. Fear in its many guises is the obstacle that your soul uses to test its t tenacity to stay on track. For a soul, 
Human life can be very difficult, but acknowledging that your soul's true nature is love will always help you on your path. When fear rears its, its ugly head, it is really an opportunity for you to stare it in the eye and turn that doubt into trust. View it as a teacher. What lessons are you learning from these fearful emotions? The more you use the energy of love to diffuse fearful situations, the less often they will present themselves. And last one is acceptance. Right now your soul is learning acceptance. This may force you to feel out of control in a situation or with another person in your life. Just realize that the universe has given you this incredible opportunity to release control. Perhaps doing so will help you realize that there is a rhythm, a rhyme, or reason to everything in life. Rather than thinking that there are accidents that are occurring, refer to these conditions as moment of divine design. Maybe it's a person or a situation that you do not agree with right now, for the moment, instead of having a knee-jerk reaction based on an emotional response, stop, step back, observe, and make an attempt to understand both sides of the equation, which is an incredible gift for you to practice tolerance, grace, and patience. Realize that although you have come to accept a situation or a condition, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are in con conditioning a behavior or that you support it. You see it for what it is and recognize it is something to, something rich to learn from it. And, and recognize that there is something rich to learn from it. I'm sorry, Kim. There we go. Now, here's Kim's rune reading. I'm surprised no one else asked for a rune reading this time. I'm surprised. Okay. And that's it. Hmm. No. Can we just have these three for you? None of those others have anything on them. So, Kim, I see need. There's some great need you have. Um. I see patience, omens, stress, obstacles. Something stressing you out, some need or obstacle in your way. Um, I also see disappointments. Um, loss, money problems, problems, arguments. Boy, um, geez, Kim, uh, recklessness, um, frustration, hassled, you're feeling hassled, you're, boy, you're feeling really kind of, uh, yeah, I guess this is a stressful time, yeah, excuse me, a stressful time of year. Um, 
And this first one did, does say, it's like you need patience. Because there's stress and need and obstacles coming your way. And also look for omens. Be aware of, of be, look out for omens. Be, be wareful of om omens coming your way. All right there, Ken. I cannot talk right now. I don't know what's wrong with me. Now. Let's do the die. Dice for Ken. So that is, hmm, this one is Capricorn. Over, let's see, Capricorn. And uh, Pluto. No? Yeah, Capricorn and Pluto. Okay, so that's greater Earth over Earth. That's what we're... Let me grab my book and look up greater Earth over Earth. Okay, 142. Now, this is a great a reading of great strength and endurance. A shield of hardest rock and solid foundations, the mountain is invincible. It doesn't move and cannot be harmed. You can break swords against it, use words against it, but they will achieve nothing. Nothing shakes the mountain. It can provide total protection, but only by remain, remaining re, only by remaining static. This is immune to emotions, fun, pain, and fear, and doesn't take any part in any of those. It endures an, in, sa, in patient safety. When danger is near, the mountain can be a good shelter for a short time. We much re, must remember that although we are not made of stone, Change is inevitable, and we would like to be able to live. We would not be alive without it. This invulnerable rock is a place to retreat to while we catch our breath, but not something we can take away to use elsewhere. If we refuse to leave its shelter, we will be trapped in one place. Earth's aspects are unopposed here, so any of them that you seek will be very present. This reading also often refers to strength and stability in areas associated with other elements, such as love and relationships. The most common message from this reading is about immediate feelings, and it advises us to get our shields up. Be the mountain, stubborn, proud, defiant. Be tough, sure in what you want, and unwilling to move. If you do these things today, you will be invincible. Earth's solid, solid, tudity, solidity, sorry, Earth's solidity can be helpful in, in succeeding over doubts and fears, but this is never in a superficial way. We can bury painful things in the earth and it will take us from, take them from us, dissolving their potency with its grounding magic. When we apply this strength to our own bodies or hearts, then the shield of rock we put around ourselves is not brittle or lacking in care for others. It does indeed make us indivis 
invincible, able to divert water's woes and the fire of enemies, keeping us sensible in the face of the moon's intriguing mystery or sun's heady pride or the earth's influence just isn't an unhealthy numbing of our emotions. It's an understanding of our re real roots, strength built on unre on built on reliable and enduring foundations. The mountain reminds us that we have the right to exist and that the things that are already our own are valuable. Its depths contain gold and gems. Its caves and rocks are the walls of our dwellings. This much earth energy is great for both the home and wealth. It promises that our choices in work will be productive and safe. It tells us that if we set and be still, then the rewards will come. There is almost no movement in this reading. If you are bored by situations of the home or work, this offers no change, but reminds you that if you take your home within your body and self-belief, the best part of receiving a reading like this is that it does not contain any ca catastrophic change, precisely that it doesn't contain that disruption. Remember, to value what you already have and use your supports to stand tall every day in a sustainable way. All right. So there you go, Kim. And I think I gave you everything now. And congratulations again to Kim for winning the drawing. And thank you all for watching tonight, this afternoon, this morning, this evening, whenever this is playing at your household. Um, and if I don't get to talk to anyone else before then, I hope you all have a happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and all that good stuff that goes with it. Any, any other holiday I might be forgetting right now. So, uh, I'll be putting up my decorations soon, and I'll tape that for you all to watch. But, uh, that's about all I have to say for, for now. So, peace, and believe. Bye-bye.